Hello everyone and welcome back to the Jim Green Footwear channel. As I'm sure you can notice, I'm currently sitting in our new studio. I'm not going to dive too much into that as we've got a video releasing at the end of this week of what's to come in 2024 and what's been in 2023. But without further ado, let's jump into the custom boot of the week. This week's custom boot of the week is our Shuli in an African buffalo leather with a leather midsole and our frog grip sole. Now the reason why we've chosen this boot is because it's a follow on from last week's video where the customer here has made a simple spec change that makes a huge visual impact to the boot. Having a look at the differences between last week's boot and this week's boot when you put them side by side you would swear that they are completely different leathers. But they are the same. How we managed to achieve these two very different finishes with the exact same leather is a very simple trick. We simply just turn the leather inside out. Now, the change of this spec is not only a visual change, but also serves purpose for the journey of each of these boots, where for example, the rough out leather from last week could be used for a more demanding activity where the boots may take a beating, allowing the rough out textures to hide the scuff and wear marks left. Where on the other hand, this week's boot a smooth leather finish could pair nicely with a waxy care and conditioning for that formal finish in the office. Another side note worth mentioning about our African buffalo leather that we've been seeing on the increase lately is the break-in period. This leather does possess a more firm characteristic compared to our traditional leathers that we use. So please allow for a slightly longer break-in time should you be interested in this leather choice or currently own a pair. Moving down the boot, we have a look at the sole. This week's customer has replaced the traditional Oringo sole on our Shuli with the frog grip sole. We assume the customer has opted for this to achieve that more of a dress shoe feel and to bring through the slightly more formal finish compared to that of the Oringo wedge sole. Finally, the customer has opted to reinforce our blind eyelets with a brass eyelet. By adding the spec to the boot, it adds to the customer's vision where we believe that they're trying to achieve that more formal looking Shuli. Wrapping up before we jump into the factory to see how this boot is made, we are very excited to see the custom orders to come to see how our customers play around with the rough out compared to the smooth leather finish. And now without taking any more of your time, let's head into the factory and see just how this pair is made. 